Alrighty, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the GSA Super Metroid Any% Percent Tournament. My name is Tracy, um, and I'm here to take you through this match between Zosti and Robotalion. Uh, this should be an interesting match. This is actually a rematch of the round of 16 from the Summer Any% Percent Tournament, which Zost won. Uh, so we'll see if uh, Robotalion can get some revenge here. Okay, and it looks like Zost is off. Well, trying to get that Moonfall. Nope, oh, not quite. He's gonna, we're going to restart this. And shoutouts to Zost for using Japanese text, which really doesn't save any time, but always fun to look at. So it's just double checking that all his controls are set up properly. Okay, let's talk about these runners a little bit. So Zos, uh, a lot of you know who he is. He is the almost very recent world record holder with a 41.19 in the any percent category. Only recently, only a few months ago, uh, beaten by Behemoth at 41.18. Uh, Robotalion looks like he just got a PB just a, just a few days ago at 43.41. Uh, Zost in the first round, this is a second round matchup. In the first round, Zost defeated Freya Spirit, and Ro Robotalion defeated a real cutie. So let's see what these guys can do for us today. And yeah, let's just. Zost being the number one seed in the tournament, Robotalion being the number nine seed in this tournament. And here we go, this time we're off. And this beating is always going to be the same. We're going to head on down, the runners are going to head on down to fight Ridley. Only they're not actually going to fight Ridley. Uh, the quickest way to get through this is to go ahead and just let Ridley damage you until you get uh, down to the point where you're beeping at 29 or lower. Um, and the quicker you can do that, the quicker you can get out. It is possible to kill Ridley, but it would take 100 shots, and nobody wants to stick around to do that. To do that. This is a speed run, after all. Uh, while they're doing this, I will take this opportunity to say thanks to our sponsor, VIE.GG, for pri providing the prize pool for this tournament. Viewers can bet on races and can view the sign-up link by typing exclamation point bet in chat at any time. Okay, and now they're both about to escape. Let's see what kind of times these guys can get coming out of here. So it's a little bit ahead. 4639 for Zost and a 4465 for Robotalion. Battalion. Both very good times getting out of Sierra Station. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with Zosai, but we'll follow our battalion for now as he gets down to the planet. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're going to restart this. Uh, it looks like Zos is having a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, his game crashed, so we're going to start this again. Uh, 
So we get to see Sierra Station again. And here we go again. So this might look like a rerun, but it's not. Uh, so once again, we're going to head through Sierra Station. Hopefully this time nobody will crash anything. Uh, looks like Robotalion Battalion is on a SNES Classic. And I believe Zos is on a ST2 SNES. And here we go, damaging ourselves down again. Uh, once again, same exact thing as before. Let's see what kind of time they can get on the second time around. And it just goes to show the kind of people we have in this community, because Robotalian could have just easily said no. I'm gonna keep on going and make you reset, uh, but no. We're just gonna do, we just do the restart, and everybody's happy, and it's all good and fair. Okay, 46.10, a 45.46, so a little bit closer this time. And it looks like nothing's crashing this time, so here we go. Okay, and here we go down to the planet. And this next part is pretty much the same in every category. First thing they're all they're both gonna do is they're gonna head down and pick up that morph ball. We already see that Zos does use the moonfall. I don't know if Rope Battalion uses that. Looks like he doesn't. Oh, no, never mind. They both use it very nicely. So it's only a little bit ahead as he goes down to the elevator to pick up his morph ball. So about two-thirds of an item fanfare ahead right now. Way too early to say what's going to happen here. Uh, would be an upset if Robotalion did win this, but uh, just looking at some of the previous matches, these things, these upsets can happen, so uh, Zos is going to have to definitely be on his toes here. Uh, both picking up the missiles. And they're headed out. And up the elevator. So it's going to do a nice wall jump climb here. It's like Rope Battalion's going to do the same. Still only just that tiny bit behind. Both doing a very nice job. So it's having a little bit of trouble at the very end, but recovers quite nicely. Absolutely beautiful parlor from both of them. 
and they're gonna head into their BT fight. Both entering with full energy, which is very important in this fight. Uh, what you want is to do five shots here, uh, shoot the little eggs, pick up some missiles, and if you have energy, or if you have, uh, if you don't have full energy, then your drops are not going to be all missiles, and you want them to be all missiles. And you're going to shoot some missiles. And be done. You still want to have full energy so you can get nice missile drops here at the end. As you can see, Rob Battalion getting some energy drops on his. Uh, just gets him a little bit further behind, both with very nice BT fights. So it's coming out with a full five missiles. Rob Battalion with three, he should be fine. Since both these runners are going to do, uh, unless, unless they want to surprise me, they are both going to do new route. Uh, what that means is when they get down here, as you'll see, uh, once Zos gets through this Terminator room, he's going to missile the space pirates to conserve that energy. Because when he gets the... The first thing he's going to do is go up to Fantoon. And when you get to Fantoon, you want to have as much energy as you possibly can. Since you're only going to have the one E-Tank and no suits. Uh, those flames of Fantoon do 40 damage a pop. And so you want to make sure you have as much safety as you can have. Robertine also using the missiles. Uh, as expected. Um, he's an old, As far as I know, he's a new route runner as well. And Zos going for that all-important mock ball in order to get the early supers. Uh, we do this so we don't have to fight Spore Spawn to get super missiles. Uh, it saves quite a bit of time because that fight is a very long one. Or Battalion right behind. Looks like oh. I'm being joined by Emmett here. Welcome, Emmett. Hello, JC. What up? Huh? Yeah, I saw Just you uh, doing some... this alone, so I hopped on. Oh, I appreciate it. I like doing these with another person. <laughs> um, so we just watching this uh, on the restream, or how are you doing that? I'm watching it on Discord. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be watching through the stream, kind of impromptu <laughs> <Okay>. here. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, so it's picking up that all-important charge beam. Rope Battalion is going to be right behind him. Uh, we need that charge beam, otherwise we'd have to pick up a whole lot more ammo, and this will allow us to be at, prop, I'm going to guess this also go 20, 10, and 5. Um, you can go down to 15, 10, and 5, but that gets really dangerous when you get down to Mother Brain, and one snipe could uh, end your run right there. Right, and I've heard that uh, Robo had a few PBs recently, right? That kind of jumped him up in the rankings. Yeah, I mean, I was just looking on the site, on the on the speedruns website, and it says he got one five days ago at forty three forty one. So good for him. Oh yeah, that's actually amazing. I actually don't know too much about Robo, as you know, Tracy. I'm I'm pretty new to the community, so um, I've been trying to learn as much about the top runners as possible, and you know, steal their strats, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> But obviously, you know, I'm not ready for the Fantoon first, which is probably what both these guys are going to be running, right? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we see Robo Battalion going up right now, and we see Zost about, pick, about to pick up his first Powerbound pack. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm watching the appropriate stream now through Discord, so we got <laughs> there that we going. Go. <laughs> Always nice. <laughs> yeah. I love damage boosts. They both damage boost perfectly, of course, but... uh. That's like my favorite thing in the game so far to see. And well, do. when you do it right, it looks really cool. So satisfying. So they're coming up to uh, CWJ, is what it's called, right? Continuous yeah, wall jump. That is coming up. And you'll notice that they have to do wall jumps just to get up the red last bit of red tower because you're really not meant to be here without high jump boots. Right, right. You know, I was... Uh, watching Zosi stream the other day and well more like a month ago and he was talking about how he tried to create a run without any high jump boots at any time but he just <laughs> ran into too many problems but it's just funny <laughs> to me that 
You know, that sounds so difficult, but he still tries to push it. Mm. It actually looks like uh, Lucy's maybe missing the jump. Yeah, he didn't get the jump. Um, looks like Robertine oh, okay. didn't either. So they're both going to go for the... Well, Zos misses the horizontal bomb jump back up, right. so he may try to do the jump again. Uh, Robert Talion also going for the horizontal bomb back oh, up also and misses it, it as well. Yeah. This that looks is yeah. so difficult to me, the horizontal bomb jump. Just in yeah, general, I it could... looks so difficult. I can't do the horizontal bomb jump. I can do the CWJ at about 10%. <laughs> yeah, no. Of the that's, time. that's a band tech, actually. So. <laughs> Okay, so Zos the first into the wreck ship. Like I said before, we're gonna have this this tricky fight with Bantoon with only um, one tank, no suits, those flames doing 40 damage. Yep, that's pretty scary, pretty spooky. And no uh, no ch uh, charge wave combo to do Dopplers, as a lot of people like to do. Not Dopplers, to right. do uh, 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 X factors. Right. And we will use we will see Dopplers because that's the strat that is available to them. Yeah. Fantoon. Always tense at Fantoon. Watching and playing verse. <laughs> this is where a lot a lot of runs die, so let's hope that let's hope for for these guys' sake they uh they get some nice Fantoons, maybe some nice uh well, we didn't get a fat well, it looks like a mid for Zost. Right. It sets up that Doppler very well. Uh, looks like he got quite a bit of damage there. Oh, the fast second oh, for Zost. And fast for Robo on the first. Oh, and a two. Is that a two round or let's see? I think Should that was two do? round for Zosti, right? Yeah, that was a nice two round for Zost. So Robo got. Um, oh, fast mid. So they both actually got pretty good Fantoon RNG, but I think did Robo miss that super? That's what it looks like. Yeah, he's just going to need one more super at this point to finish him off. Right. There you go, pretty clean. I guess, you know, you don't want to do three phase, but the small perk to it is that you get some extra resources, I suppose. Okay, and Zoe's picking up his last super missile pack of the game. Yeah. So I guess just missing that one phase kind of puts Zeus at a little bit of a lead here, a little comfortable yeah. lead, I'd say. Yeah, he was a bit ahead before that, and they had this essentially the same first two patterns, just in a different order. Right but now, but now he's got a little more of a lead since he managed to get a two round, which is not an easy thing to do. Right. So it's doing a little quick clip running up that. Uh, I guess it's wrecked ship. I'm mm -hmm. horrendously ignorant of the room name, so please well, correct just, me. Yeah. Just yell well, at I, me. <laughs> for that spot, I just call it the wrecked ship. I'm sure it's. Right, I guarantee right. you, it has a name for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know all the names. I know the names of the ones that most people know. Right. I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> Robo does it too. I, I imagine it's not too difficult just because I don't see runners miss it too often, but it at least looks difficult to me. <laughs> so Zost at 184. So he can actually take three hits here. Um, ideally, he's only going to get hit by these spikes twice to get through. Yeah, yeah he would have been pretty uh, low if uh, if he'd got gotten that third hit. Uh, does that do 60 damage? It does. Without a suit, it is 60 damage on those spikes. Wow. Spikes. Yep. Okay. We we had a few uh, uh, tournaments end for people uh, by hitting those that third time and not having over 180 HP to get through it. So. Yeah, that's Basically. brutal on Fantoon first for sure. Can you get hit uh, now on some spikes? Not these ones, maybe, but other spikes. You can kind of get hit twice. Can that happen in this bowling alley room? Uh, in this room, you'd have to stay down there long enough. Um, the ones you to get, get the hit, double you, hit. Yeah, the double hit ones, the ones in the spiky room of death. We won't see that room in this in okay. any percent. Right. Uh, you see that in uh, mostly hundred percent or randomizers. You'll see that room. Okay. So normally bowling alley, you know, is when I go get some water, do yeah. something, check Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. We're the, so now they're both uh, heading to Ridley, right? Uh, we'll see. Um, oh, right. They Zos, might do. They could some do options, Prey first. Right? 
Yeah, right. there is the option of doing crate first. Um, I know Zos likes to have about a about a thirty second lead if he's going to do crate before Ridley. Uh, he doesn't oh, quite generous. have that big a lead, so my guess is he's going to head down to Ridley. Wow, Tracy, you know some strats. You know some of the strats. Is that like standard uh, what he does in tournament, or? That's what he talked about in the any percent tournament. I did quite a few of his his matches. Right, right. During the any percent, so. Robotalian, I'm gonna guess, is just gonna go down to Ridley. He's he's the uh, underdog here, so he's gonna need to do anything he can to save time. Right. Um, I was actually talking about with Lynx. I'm, uh, I watch Lynx a lot, watch his streams, we talk, and mm -hmm. he says, you know, as soon as he hits one of these power hitter runners, that he's just gonna go, you know, no extra missiles, no extra tanks, just right. basically going for a PB versus them. Yep. And Zos picks up that spacer. Um, since they're never going to get plasma beam, it's too much of a time sink to get the plasma beam compared to the amount of damage it would do. Since they're not, they wouldn't be able to get it till at the very end. Uh, they want that spacer beam so that the Ridley fight ends up being a 60 shot Ridley fight rather than a uh, without spacer with wave ice. I believe it's about a hundred shots. Uh, Canadian owls in chat, you can correct me if what I'm wrong. What a nightmare! Yeah, a lot of shots. <laughs> um... The Mother Brain is um, 60 shots as well. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, because Mother Brain and Ridley both have 18,000 HP. Uh, right. The only difference is Ridley uh, is double damage for supers. Right, right. I actually just learned that. Um, I knew Fantoon, and I just recently learned that Ridley also is double damage for supers. That's a pretty cool mechanic in the game. Yeah, and especially Owen, oh, Robotalian decides to break the glass before he comes back it should save him a little bit of time right he knows he's gonna he already has gravity suit at this point so so did Zos, did Zos he do that as well he did not uh, is it category power bomb count maybe too low yeah he might be thinking about conserving those power bombs they're only going to get the one pack so right the uh, category you really see that a lot is actually the gt classic category oh, okay yeah, poof. Definitely don't know anything about other categories yet. But... <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Zos doing the other important mock ball so he can get the ice beam before he gets the speed booster. That's a pretty cool mock ball to do early on, too. It's a, another important mock ball, right? If you're yeah, running the... Fantoon first. Yep, in uh, Fantoon first, you have the two of them. You have the one to get the early supers. You also have the Ice Beam one. Whereas in Old Route, uh, you only need to get the one for the early supers because you'll have Speed Booster by the time you decide to pick up the Ice Beam. Correct, yeah. Okay, okay Robo so... rolling over to Ice as well. Oh yeah, and then they so... leave, need to leave with the Mock Ball as well, which Zos just got. Yeah, they can use uh, the power bombs to get out. Um, Zost having no power bombs, he pretty much had no choice but to right. use the mock ball. He would have if he, so. If he had missed it, is there there's some sort of like jumping bomb trick, right, that he could have maybe done? I think I've seen yeah. that done before. Yeah, you can, yeah it's, it would be either way. It's a, a bit of a time loss. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. starting to think in terms of doing a lot of randomizers. You don't always have bombs in that situation, but of course, this being the vanilla game. Uh, of course, you have bombs at this point. Right, right. So yeah, you can do. It's a mid-air morph you have to do to uh, use the bombs up there. Yeah. Whoa. So is he doing that crazy jump on the right? Oh no, yeah, never mind. Okay, a, I thought I, for some reason I thought he cool. started on the right side, but that was still a crazy spot. He wall jumped, right? Yeah, that is a weird spot. Usually, uh, <laughs> jump from is the that safe. Is that swagging on stream? Is that what I, we just I don't, Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I like about Bubble Mountain is if you watch watch ten different runners do Bubble Mountain, you're gonna see ten different strats, and right. all of them can be really cool. So that's actually that to me makes Bubble Mountain really really awesome and interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's we'll see how Robo does it. I guess I'm it's Ro Robo Italian. Oh, oh that's attack. unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Those those that cack attack the the Bubble Mountain <laughs> boss is gonna be very trolly. Yeah. So he was going for a missile. I think uh, it was a slightly harder like execution test because he was trying to uh, missile it as well. I think to get the uh, super missile drop. Mm -hmm. Super missile drop being a hundred percent if you're not at um, um, 
below 30 health, correct? Um, my guess is probably more like 98% because I don't 98. think anything's that, yeah, nothing's actually 100% that I know of in this game, but, you know, there's a few things that are, you know, very rare, like that right, thing's gonna, right. usually going to drop you that super missile, and unless you have full supers, then it'll probably drop you a big energy. Right. And Zos picks up the wave beam. Okay. Uh, that, I call that the most important uh, sequence break of the game. Uh, it's more important in Old Rot to some extent. Uh, just because the, the wave beam. Yeah, well, because if you get if you go the intended route, uh, you're not getting that wave beam until you go up to get your power bombs and back down to get your your grapple beam. Basically covering oh, okay. a, a third of the map just before you can get it. Uh, whereas grapple if you beam. make that one little wall jump, uh, you can get the wave beam before that. What are these weird so, items you're talking about, Tracy? <laughs> we don't see them in this category. <laughs> right. <laughs> And Zos heading for what I've started to call the Remembered Highway because we brought it back with New Route because no one goes that way in Old Route. Right. Oof, I and like so that doing, seed damage, yep. uh, that cool little damage boost. I love it. Yeah, so that uh, chronic boost. Oh, uh, so he's doing a kind of different strategy here. Is, isn't go this an older breath. strategy, maybe? No, um, what he's, that's, okay. called, that's just a gravity jump. So right. what you do... Is you take off, you jump, uh, basically you pause first, and then you jump right after you pause. Uh, you don't usually do it from that side, but it certainly works. Right. Um, pause first, jump. Then when you get to the pause screen, you take off the gravity suit. And when you do that, uh, your momentum will take you further in lava and in water. Okay. Was Zosti being safe there, or does he generally do that strat, do you know? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I think he likes to do the lava spark. Uh, he didn't. He right. probably just didn't get it. So I think Robo just attempted the lava spark, um, but didn't look like he got it either. Yeah, you'll see. He's gonna take it from that that ledge, and you can get all the way up that way. Right. So lava spark, you have to do a stutter three tap, or does it have to be four? Do you know? Yeah, I, I don't know my details on that. It's it's. I know right. it's a very either way. It's difficult. Charge. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a and I've also been told off. it doesn't actually save a ton of time anyway, so if you do that really? gravity jump quick enough. Wow. And you'll okay. also you also have noticed that Robotalian, I think Zos did the same thing. When he um, was in the pause menu, he also turned off his ice beam and his phaser beam. Because he's gonna go for some X Factor strats to start out Ridley. Right, so that sets yeah, that sets you up for the X Factors on Ridley. That's yep. actually that makes a lot of sense. Um I think there's a few runners like Behemoth and a couple other top runners that opt to just do the 60 shots with the charge yeah, ice beam. Behemoth doesn't do the X factors. Uh, fun fact: right. when these two played in the Any Percent tournament, uh, it was the only only one where I saw both runners get four X factors in. Wow. X factors being uh, 300 damage per particle, so that's 1200 per one X factor. So four of them is going to get you 4800 damage on Ripley before you fire a, a shot. So it's pretty cool. That is really awesome because I'm pretty sure hitting all four is pretty difficult. Like all four power bomb X factors, right? Oh yeah. That's I'm, I rarely see that. Unfortunately for Zos, he's only got one power bomb right now. So we'll see if he farms some Ooh. more up or if he just goes for just a single X factor. Oh, these Did little guys one? have a high chance. I think of dropping yeah, power bombs. Very and there's all four. Yeah. Yep. So now he's got enough. Still a couple opportunities for um, Robotalian to catch up, because he's actually not too far behind. No, not so, at all. Yeah, if Sisty makes any sort of mistake here, it could definitely, you know, be the difference of Robotalian catching up. So unfortunately, Zos only got two shots in on the on the uh, X factors. Right. So yeah, uh, by itself, this beam combination is 60 shots. He will use his supers. One of the advantages of going Ridley before Kraid is that you're going to basically get a free super refill when you go back and do Kraid because you have Mini Kraid who basically drops supers, a bunch of them. Yeah, getting a little worried about Zosie's health right now, actually. Yeah, it's not looking great. Things um, can definitely go wrong with, you know, Ridley picking you up too with that trolley tail of his. So. Oh yeah. Ooh. I'm actually willing to now. bet. Uh, I wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me if Zos decides to pick up the E tank here as an extra safety. Right. 
wondering how he's gonna finish off Ridley to make sure he doesn't get hit, you know. You get a little antsy look. I'm gonna have to watch Robitalian here for a bit. <laughs> Put my hand over Zosti's monitor while he finishes Ridley. <laughs> So it looks like Robotone oh only hit. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> he did 19 get that health. extra shot in 19 health left. Uh, so he's going to get a little bit of, health, of a health bomb here. Actually, yeah, a lot so of health bomb. I guess that means he won't get the tank, right? Because he's got health bomb. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he doesn't need it. His ammo count is, well, bad. <laughs> right. <very laughs> I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Robotalion, um <clears throat> seems to be doing all right so far. No danger in terms of health, but I think he only hit one X-Factor. I guess that's better than nothing. Yep. Okay, I thought maybe Zosti was going to farm one of the pirates, but it doesn't look like nah, it. Nah, I, I think that just takes too much time. Too much time. He's fine uh -oh. to get out of... Ooh, Robotillion just took a barrage of uh, shots from Ridley just now. It is a scary brutal. fight with only those two E tanks. Yeah. And having weaker armor compared to Crate First, you take a lot more damage, right? Uh, not in this version of the game. So the various suit is pretty much uh, redundant once you pick up the gravity suit. Oh, the reason okay. why, yeah. The uh, one thing that Varia does for you, and the reason why the runners will pick it up, is that that rainbow beam at the end of the game that Mother Brain fires at you. Uh, we'll deal 300 damage if you'd have the barrier suit on and 600 damage if you just have the gravity suit So to uh, skip barrier you'd have to pick up three extra e-tanks and the amount of time lost picking up those e-tanks is not worth the amount of time saved Right, uh, not right. picking up barrier. Okay, that's actually really interesting. I didn't know that uh, where the various suit uh, Helps you a little bit and oh three musketeers always a little bit of a troll oh, so yeah. gets through this. <laughs> Nicely Jeez. done, Zost. Uh, so that's always a little bit of, of a scary point. I kind of call it, it the is. lower Norfair last middle finger. Uh, yeah, to run yeah. and Not so fast, <laughs> my friend. Um, yep. There's but definitely to get back a few to... moments where it's difficult yeah. like that, right? In lower yeah. Norfair. Um, oh but goodness. the places where uh, the parade first uh, help, helps you out is if you're picking up that various suit, uh, that gravity jump will do less damage because when you do it, you're going to have the very suit on. Whereas the way these guys did it, they had no suit on. Right. Um, and the other safety there is if you wanted to pick up the uh, crate e tank. Right. I don't know if you mentioned, I, I'm sort of just noticing now, but Robotalian did get the uh, Ridley e tank. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I wonder if that means he'll also get the crate e tank or if, I mean, sorry, the Batuan e tank or if he'll be skipping that later. Um, I suspect he'll pick it up. It's going to depend on what his, his energy is when he gets there. Uh, the any percent strat for killing Dragon being speed booster, and you need to have enough energy to survive that. Right. Um, I guess in terms of um, just strictly trying to beat his opponent, Zosti, I'm wondering if he will take you know as many risks as possible later, or what will happen there. And I'm not sure if they are... I think it is allowed to watch the stream or watch, you know, the broadcast to see where your yeah. opponent is and then base your strategies off that. Yeah, my I, certainly in the summer tournament, that was the case. I'm going to assume it's the same way here. Right. Also, uh, I guess shout outs to V for hosting this tournament, right? That's really amazing. Yeah. I feel so lucky to have come at a time where Super Metroid's popping off and now we got an amazing sponsor sponsoring the yep. first vie.gg no. providing the prize pool for this tournament you can bet on the races by going by typing uh exclamation point bet in chat at any time uh zos picking up that various suit that all-important various suit i'm glad uh he whooped craid you know smooth and <laughs> swiftly nice quick kill so now zos is going to what i call the you know these these next two are kind of the goons, in my opinion, of Super Metroid. They're they're part of the goon squad. Batoon <laughs> being the goon commander, and uh, Dragon, go. you know, his second in command. So they have so many things that they can do that are just so obnoxious, <laughs> and mostly the hitboxes on uh, Batoon are just out of control. Just awful. Yeah. Or when Dragon decides to just infinitely swoop. He yep. enters a perpetual state of goonery. 
And we all know that chain damage is a thing that we don't want to see here. Yeah, exactly, yep. I keep hearing rumors and whispers of way of avoiding the uh, chain damage, like holding down in a way or things like that, but I feel like I'm unsure if any of that really does anything. It might. Yeah, I, I don't know. Ooh, Ro Robotalian, I feel like, killed Crate extra fast. <laughs> <laughs> His first two missiles were completely like, uh, what is it, lateral? They're on the same line. He he really whooped him good there. Very satisfying to get that quick kill on Kraid. Oh yeah. That was the very first trick I learned when even when I was <laughs> running at one hour thirty minutes and I was fighting Kraid and I was like. Wait, there's a faster way of killing this guy, right? Because I can't even yep. do this. This is taking me 20 minutes to kill him. First trick well, I Well, you're, you're, you're ahead of me. Uh, I still can't do the quick kill myself. Uh, I'm not I bad at killing him in the normal way. <laughs> I'm. It's so funny how bad I am at killing him the normal way. It turns into. It makes me look like I just held a Super Nintendo controller for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is actually first rounding Batoon, which is really nice. Very, yeah, very nice with that, uh, with a nice X Factor start and those supers afterwards. Yep. Uh, Slaying the Goon up. Commander there. Yep, he just picked up his last energy tank. Oh, and he, Ooh. oh, he's going to go, I think. He messed up the, uh, little farming strat there, overshot it a little bit, but still fine. And it still has enough room for a short charge to go for the whole half feet. No, it, this is another band tech. Um, so see getting that now pretty flawlessly um robotillion <clears throat> oh robotalian sorry uh heading towards batoon we'll see how he fares against the uh, goon commander <laughs> you know i found out that uh that you can hear a sound whether or not all four of your particles hit and I wasn't realizing, seeing and watching streams, why I was taking some people, or even myself, more super missiles to kill them, because it should be four X factors in the six missiles. Super right. missiles. Um, it means that like you're, you just aren't hitting all your particles, which can be really difficult. And I think Robotalian's having a little just bit of trouble. One more missile, yeah. There well, he missed it. one super, so he had to get right. the three missiles in. Exactly. So, Ossi doing an amazing job destroying Dragon. Oh, but he missed the uh, little bomb jump, so he's going for the spike suit glitch. Oh, looks like he got it. Yeah, I think he was just killing time with the bomb jumps. <laughs> oh, really? I thought that yeah. maybe you... I've seen some streamers hold it, and then you can still bomb jump out of there without getting spike suit and then charge, is, right? Or something like that? Oh. Uh, without if, farming? Yeah, if... Uh... If you get the spike suit, the nice thing is you can hold the run button, so you can actually make right. the do the wall jump. Uh, exactly. Otherwise, I believe you're, you're forced. If you just have a blue suit, then it's a little bit harder to get out without right. wasting that blue suit ahead of time. I think if your resources are very good, I've seen some people kill Dragon and then immediately start uh, bomb jumping, so they kind of skip the drops. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll also see that in low percent categories. Because that's pretty right. much your way out in a low percent category, so you don't have high jump boots. Okay. Uh, and okay. also, you'll notice that the, he did not pick up space jump. Uh, the only place where space jump is of any help is in that Coliseum room, and he has the had the spike suit for that. Okay. And um, you know, so the extra door, extra two door transitions, and the item fanfare are not worth the trouble. Right. Door transitions also something I've recently learned about, and yeah. it can have a pretty big impact, like on your time in the game. Mm -hmm. Pretty crazy. Okay, Robotalian starting Dragon now. Oof, that was one a really nice, initial. Yeah, one that was nice a thing, really good. Because you're using Shine Sparks as your primary uh, mode of offense here, uh, when you use those X factors, uh, if the particles don't all hit and one of them flies crazy. Uh, you're okay, because normally when those X factors hit or don't hit, uh, you can't shoot anything until they are off the screen, until they hit something, or they're just time timed out. Right. Uh, so that can oh, become Robot problematic on Bot Wound and on uh, and on uh, uh, Fantoon and right, Ridley yeah, for that exactly. matter. Yep. So Robotalian is doing yeah, what we're talking about before because his resources he already had plenty of health, 
So I think he just decided to try to save time and he bounced out of there without farming any uh, drops. Yeah. That ammo count is not great though. Yeah, he it's not... He needs at least one to get out of here, so. <laughs> right. We should see if he farms up or if he decides to stop at the ship. Zos' ammo count not great either. Uh, with only two supers, he's going to have to rely on some Metroid drops here. Yeah, that's actually kind of scary. Um, given, you know, he's going to need his full ammo count for Mother Brain, for the first round Mother Brain. Mother Brain. Yeah. Did he have 20 and missiles total, right? 20 missiles, 10 Yeah, I supers. believe he picked up 20. I be, believe he picked up 20. Right. Um, that, missiles won't be the problem, because worst case, you can refill. But the yeah, supers, yeah, exactly. once you get past those Metroid rooms, that's, that's it. No more refilling. Yep. And as Zos waits for uh, his uh, G4 cutscene, uh, once again, I'm going to thank our sponsor, VIE.GG, uh, providing the prize pool for the tournament. Uh, again, viewers can bet on races uh, and view the sign-up link by typing exclamation point bet in chat at any time. Okay, yeah. and Zos is going to head into Torian, which is one of my favorite things to watch him do. Because he's one of those runners that can you know, do that item select and cancel so quickly that it looks like he's just doing one shot to freeze and super the Metroids all at once. Oh, so you like specifically Zos's execution of this next room. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, not. I mean, there are other people that can do it too, but he's one right, of the. Right. He's the first one I saw do this. So, um, right. with his low super count, though, it looks like he's going to go ahead and group those Metroids together. Uh, he's got the full 20 missiles. He still only has three supers, so he's going to have to uh, be a little careful here. Okay, he's up to five okay, supers. Up to five. And he's going to group these guys as well yeah. for the same reason. That's a nice strat. Oh yeah, wow! There look we go. at that. Now he's good. Drake the yep. 10. So he's in good shape. That means he'll just uh, use five missiles at the end here and he'll be yep. totally safe from that. Something I found out recently, which I guess I wish I knew earlier. Um, I found out that regardless of your missile count and health count, it does not affect the, you know, it doesn't determine what the super missiles are gonna draw. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. So it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't determine whether or not it'll drop super. So the super, dropping is gonna this is their own percentage chance apparently on their own not mattering you know how many suits how many missiles you have or how much health you have it's gonna go for a baby skip here now yep uh, this is definitely Good. one of my favorite tricks to watch and do and he gets it nicely done me and my buddy when we first started running we always called you know Baby skip RNG. Obviously, it's not. You can manipulate the baby Metroid there with uh, your movement and your jumping, but it mm -hmm. at first was incredibly difficult. So, Robotalian now going through Turian. Uh, see how he handles these little baby Metroids. His supply is also kind of in shambles here. Yeah, he's only got one super, so he's going to have to super the first one, hope for some nice drops. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oof. Well, he got five missiles and it one super, so let's see what happens. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So, see about to start the uh, last mother brain fight. Well, okay, sorry. The second mother brain fight, apparently, technically. <laughs> yeah, this is mother brain too. This will be this will be sixty shots here. Yep. A lot of shots. Oh, and Robo Italian getting perfect resources now. <laughs> At the yep. same time that Josty got it. It's always nice because uh, if they don't have full supers going into that last room, what a lot of runners will do is they'll kill only two of the Metroids, leave, and come back. Yeah, they... that's very useful knowledge to have, too. Um, once you because... kill all three, they don't come back. Exactly, yep. So see doing a good job reacting and dodging all the projectiles. It's pretty interesting to me. He still decided to just do three tank, even though, you know, he had a lead. He's not really playing it that safe. He didn't save. It's kind of risky. One, you know, he could easily fat finger a jump and jump right into a catch up beam and be brutal. Robotalian uh, having a nice baby skip there. Ketchup beam, so that means he has about 15 shots left. Uh, that that ketchup will start 
after uh, Mother Brain 2 has just over 75% damage. Okay. So 60 shots uh, on the. If you just do this beam combo, it's going to be after the 66 shot. Sorry, after the. Uh, <laughs> my math's way off. After the 46 shot, uh, 45 being three quarters, and then one more shot to start that rainbow beam. I like your impressive. Uh depth of knowledge tracy and i am i'm gonna have to forgive everyone who, uh have everyone forgive me who's watching i'm i'm pretty like ignorant on a lot of things in super metroid i am pretty new to the community in the game but i've been watching and playing very actively the last six months so trying to learn as much as possible luckily tracy has most of the answers for us well, I've been watching a lot of this before I even started, or restart playing, since I have played this game since day one. Uh, but I've only been speedrunning it for about the last six months or so. And speed That's pretty, being, you've been uh, playing since uh, day one? That's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I I'm, actually have I'm never old enough played to have, casually. Yeah, I'm old enough to have gotten this originally. That's awesome. I think I was too blinded by Super Mario World when I was a kid. That was the game I got very addicted to. Never sped run, uh, you know, did any speed running for it, but uh, definitely loved it a lot. So Robotalian doing a pretty good job in Mother Brain. He has four tanks, so he should be pretty safe even if he gets catch up. Or what is it? There's meatballs, there's catch up, there's french fries and yep. onion rings. All sorts <laughs> of uh, delicious to fast me. food, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zosti okay. doing and while Zosti's Brain finishing three. up his Mother Brain 3 and Robertalian is Mother Brain 2, let me say what's uh, coming up here. So up next after this is uh, Super Mario 64, a 70 star, 70 star tournament between Sugotu SR and I'm going to say Zine 64, and then another SM64 uh, between BES Rock Chalk 19 and Heisenberger TV, also the 70 star tournament. And then in three hours, we have Feral SR versus Insane Fire Brat in a loser's round one uh, match for this tournament. Uh, in four hours, we have another Super Mario 64, a Punkish Tian, I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, versus some bro you don't know. I think it's um, pun uh, Punkation, maybe? Punkation? Oh, that makes sense. And then <laughs> in five hours, we have more Super, Mar Super Metroid with Link's Unlimited versus Scotty McBody in winner's round two. And then Thanks. in six hours, we have Shiny Zenny versus Sloters 27 in this tournament, also winners round two. So a lot Is of good stuff today? coming up today. That's all today. Wow. I guess I'm not, I guess I'm not getting out of my chair today. <laughs> I'm literally just going to, we go get a jug of water and yeah, just and sit here have, and watch all these matches. You'll have me and Kip on the commentary for Shiny Zenny and Sloters 27. Oh, that's awesome. Kip's great. He knows I so much and he's Kip. such a kind such a kind guy. Really awesome. I watch his stream all the time as well. Um, and also, let's see, looks like Zost is almost done here. Uh, he's going to play the winner of Scotty McBody versus Lynx Unlimited, unless something very strange happens. Right. And there he goes. He's done. Wow. And, nice. Uh, Congrats to Zost. Yep. Uh, it looks like Robert Talion then will play the will play the winner of the loser's bracket match between Typo and Elminster RTA. So... Oh, so many yeah. good matches. I'm excited. Oh my god. So many. Also, wow, Zosi still had a really good time. Like he about 43 minutes he... in a tournament time. That's really good. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. He did. Did he take any um, major saves? Or I think he like played it maybe a little bit safe, but he didn't actually. He didn't take any saves. He didn't get any extra energy tanks. He just got five extra missiles. Right. So yeah, so the uh, one safety he took, and and he said this to me before that it's the last safety he'll give up is that extra five missiles at uh, usually the wave beam missiles. Uh, right, just because this... that sniping of Mother Brain One can just get you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because isn't the hitbox like totally absurd? Um, even if you yeah. feel like you waited and reacted, it still boom just snipes a super, and then that's it. You're just done, and uh, that's brutal. The five missiles makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. and meanwhile, Robo Italian on his escape. Robo Italian really not too far behind. He still did a really good job, and and he got an extra tank, right? Extra tank and missiles. 
But yeah, he's kind of a... To me, I, I didn't know much about him, but I think he does stream, so I'm definitely going to be checking out his stream next time he goes live, for sure. I threw him a fall. I, I was asking in chat before before I hopped on mic. I'm like, where's this guy's stream? I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah, you should follow these guys. <gasps> Rob Italian, um, the, the other reason I really want to talk to him is he uses a classic to run. He's the highest rate ranked person on the leaderboards who uses a classic. Oh, that's nice. Well, good stuff that. to Rob Italian. Coming in here, finishing the runners. run. So about two minutes behind Zoe, so very nice. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, Robotellion uses a CNS Classic. So that's pretty unique, I think. And so Charles and I, I don't know if you, you know, I think you commentated some of chilling our first, when Charles. we very first yeah. started. Yeah, chilling with Charles. <laughs> we both use a Classic as well. And we had yeah, I to... Use, I use the Classic as well. We had to manipulate it a bit to get, you know, some extra save states because we didn't really know how to efficiently practice. Ah. So I'm gonna have to get in touch with Robo to kind of see, see his ah, strats, see what he does. Yeah, um, I, I using the practice realm. You, you know, I only have the four save states, which is kind of annoying. So. <laughs> so we actually found a way to put multiple practice realms on there. So now we have ah. 32 practice realms, and that's oh. so now we have 32 practice realms. And, I may know, have to four safe states. Charles and I actually plan to release this information. We're just trying to figure out if it all works. Yeah, you can always message me or Charles, and yeah, we'll. It's very useful. Charles, he's a smart guy. He figured he figured most of it out. Um, so it's definitely. I mean, without that, it'd be so hard to improve and get better. Because mm -hmm. you know, Zosti and all these guys, they have they probably have hundreds of they safe have, states or well, whatever. They have the yeah. Yes, which allows them a whole lot of save states. So. Right, right. But yeah, congrats to Zost again. Yeah, absolutely, congrats. And I think there's uh, there's not really enough time for an interview. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they do them on here anyway. So. Uh, right. So yeah, uh, thank you for thank you for joining me, Emmett. It's always good to have someone on the commentary with me. Um, yeah, of course. Thank you to the runners and thank you to. Steve or Steve Steve O'Broyle uh, for setting all this up.